guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. We just gave you a tour of Internet Explorer on Windows Phone 7 series through the emulator. Well, we found some other things that we want to talk about. Starting actually going back into Internet Explorer, we're going to show you how screen rotations work. So I'm going to tap the uh, screen rotation button here to go into landscape. And you can see the really cool screen animation that they created for Windows Phone 7 series. And that goes to the other direction or the other orientation in landscape. Something else I want to show you is how the application bar uh, expands when you're in landscape. Because in portrait, um, let me try to get back into portrait. Here we go. In portrait, quite simply, you tap on those three dots and you get all the other information, the more extended menu commands. But in landscape, how does that work? Well, quite simply, uh, the way it works is that they just take up the left side of the screen. So that's very simple, very easy. It makes a lot of sense how they did this. So let's go back to the home screen. You're going to see that you can't have the home screen, I should call it a start screen, in the uh, horizontal orientation. So we're going to go back to the vertical portrait orientation so that we can see it the right way. Now a few things to note here. We can swipe to the right to get our full application list. This isn't the full emulator, so you don't get everything. Another way that you can get the full application list is by tapping on this right facing arrow. Now Microsoft isn't sure if they're keeping this visual design for the full application list. They may have it in a grid or in some other sort of way, but right now it's just a standard list. So let's go into settings. There are a few things that we can change in here. We've been really hoping to see the settings of Windows Phone 7 series, and really it's very, very simple. It brings through uh, that Metro interface. So we can swipe to the right, and right now we can only access a couple of settings because again, this isn't the full emulator. So we can change the color scheme which is pretty cool. So we can change the background color to be either light, and this will work well uh, for a backlit LED screen, or dark, which would work better for an AMOLED screen. Um, we can also change the accent color. I'm going to go back to light for the rest of this demonstration. We can change the accent color to those four different uh, colors that we've seen in the screenshots of Windows Phone 7 series. So let's go to, say, green. And you can see the accent color change there. And if I go back to the, the home screen, the color surrounding this icon here is green. So let's go back to the settings menu and go back in here. And again, we can change it several different times to different colors. And now it's blue. I think I'll like that better. Back to the start screen and yep, there's blue. That's kind of what we've seen as the default. So let's go back into settings one more time and see the other things that we can change here. We can change the regional settings and this screen is obviously not complete. It's very ugly right now. Um, and we can't do anything except swipe up and swipe down. We can change the language um, only to English right now. We can change the region to a variety of different places. We can go to the left here again and uh, change the date format. Very nice looking interface, super simple, super clean. We can change the first day of the week for your calendar settings. It's interesting that the calendar settings are sort of outside of the calendar and in the main device settings. We'll probably see a lot more of that. And of course, we can change the browser language and some other things. Let's go back one more here, and we can change the date and the time. Some very simple toggle switches here. And again, these probably aren't final because they're super ugly. And I think we got everything there. Uh, and again, swiping to the right, you don't get anything for applications. So that was just a quick look at some other things that we found on the Windows Phone 7 Series emulator. Again, keep it to pocketnow.com for the latest in Windows Phone 7 Series videos, or you can follow us on Twitter twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.